Yeah, no, these are totally just laden with honey. If you shake the bees over the hive, it'll keep them from getting quite as irritated. I know we're getting a little past your, your height limit there, but. Yeah, welcome to my world. Hey, Peter, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Matthew. Uh, just getting ready for business tonight, kind of snipping some herbs and uh, getting into the day. Well, uh, I know you have a couple things on your menu that have honey. Uh, how would you like to go learn about robbing honey from beehives? You know, I've always wanted to do that, and uh, I think that'd be a fabulous idea. All right, let's go. All right. Hey, Peter. Jeremy Bemis. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Here you're helping us rob some honeybees today. Uh, that's what they tell me. I uh, was instructed to come out here, and I'm looking forward to it. I've always kind of been intrigued by this process, so I'm looking forward to learning about it. Well, good. You like getting stung? Uh, I don't know. We, well, I guess we can find out. We will find out. I think we're good to go. Can we put the hood up for the full effect? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our tools here. Uh, we've got a couple outer covers, a couple empty boxes. We've got some bee brushes and then a hive tool. All right. So this is our smoker. Um, you can check bees and do all sorts of things, but you're not going to make it very far at all without a hive tool. Normally the first question everybody asks is, am I going to get stung? So it, the fact that he didn't ask that, I, I thought he was actually kind of kind of ready to go with it. So we just get a, we're looking for a nice cool smoke. Oh, nice down in the bottom of the can. Okay. So the, uh, uh, we squeeze here, blows the air into the bottom. All right. And we can just stuff this full as we can get it. All right. So when you're lighting your smoker, you put your gloves on, things like that, and get your, get your gloves smelling like smoke. All right, I got you. Here we go. There you go. Smoke your gloves. I don't think I've ever said that before. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the hive. We're gonna crack it open. Uh, we're going to try to steal what honey we can, and right. I always like to go in and do a hive check. So we'll okay. go in, make sure the queen's doing well, uh, everything looks good, and then we'll close them all up and head to the next hive. Look, my dickies get a chance to use a hive tool pocket. They've, they've held many spatulas and quite a few tongs, but never a, a hive tool. Uh, only mildly concerned, you know. Oh, oh, there's nothing to be worried uh, about. Yeah, okay. It just stings for a few minutes. All right, once again, I'm okay. I brought my EpiPen, what the heck. All right, so we're doing this the uh, slow way. Okay. So there are a lot of different ways to do this. Um, so hopefully this will be a not too terribly invasive for the bees. Hopefully they won't get too irritated with this. Um, so the way we're going to do it is we're going to crack the top. We're going to go frame by frame. Okay. We'll pull it out, we'll check it. If okay. it's ready, then we'll just take our brush. Okay. We're gonna gently brush the bees back into the box. All right. Set the frame in here. All right. And then this is kind of our our top to keep the bees from going back to the honey. I got you. So you always wanna work the hive from behind. Okay. So as they come out, they go into their flight path, they get up and they go off. So you if mean, you're like actually right looking- where the camera guy is? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Were you afraid of getting stung? Not really. I mean, you know, the equipment seemed good enough. I mean, you know, I've seen uh, I've seen little old ladies beehiving before, so uh, I figured I should be as tough as them, which is probably not true, but nonetheless. Um, so we're going to blow just a little bit of smoke. Okay. Um, we don't want to do too much. If you get too much in there, they think the forest is on fire and they need to go somewhere else. So that's you. going to be counterproductive. All right. So we're going to take our hive tool. Crack it open. We're just going to break it so you can use this part here. Okay. Either way. So you just pull it up. So we get a look at it. All so right. this is our capped honey. So okay. that's what we're looking for is we're wanting as much capped honey as we can get. All right. Just Ask kind of gently, lead, gently. Knock them off. There's one with his head down, her head in the cell. So once it's off, we're going to take Brush it off onto off. me and yep. then move along. Oh. So All right. That cool. just keeps them out. So if All you right. want to do one, I'll watch you. Oh, totally. Yeah. Okay. So here. Wait. That's okay. I travel with a beetle. There you go. Thanks, though. All right. I'm going to just break that off there. Break that off there. Pull this up. Oh, it's heavy. 
So wow. yeah, a good full frame, which this is not super full. Um, they could weigh six, seven pounds. Wow, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna brush this off. We're, we're... Yeah, watch putting your finger on the frame. You'll poke a hole in it and it's okay. gonna be dripping all over. Try, all right, to keep, try to keep a hold of the ears. All right. All right, see you, dude. You gotta get your head out of there. Sorry, go on. Oh, fiddlestick. Yeah, don't do that. That makes Don't do that, okay, all right. I don't like banging and loud noises. Okay. Okay. May I do another? Yep. We're, we're going to do the whole box here. So I'm going to speed you up a little bit. Okay. We're just going to go through and just crack all these to break them free because it looks like the whole box is going to come off. Yeah, I mean, there's that, you know, the, the sound of the buzzing is obviously kind of a hardwired noise that is a little bit uh, disconcerting. But the overall process so far, you got to keep an eye out for those little bee butts sticking out in the air. See, like that right there. Yeah. Okay. here come on dude so what we're gonna do is so this box is full we'll we're gonna take that. our brush i got you get the bees out of this box so then it gives us an empty box to set on top so a full medium honey super which is what these are um, will weigh 55 pounds give or take that's a lot of honey so we'll see how many of these you can carry <laughs> yes. all, right. all right so uh can i do it okay. can i do it can i yep. do it all right. So we're just going to do just two or just three puffs of smoke under right. the back. Don't want to freak them out. So right right through okay. that little cap, oh, okay, gap right you. there. Okay. So we run screen bottoms, meaning the whole bottom of it is just a wire. So that's okay. enough. So if you'll come just reach around to the front. Right. I'm going to actually make you got, you got the short arms. It's yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. little so longer you, reach you, for you. you. You tall guys, we keep you around for certain reasons. So we're just going to do a quick huff check. Make right. sure everything looks oh, it good. Looks, it looks laden with bees. I think it's a very important job, though, because it's dangerous. This, this could start a fire or something, you know? They only give it to very capable people, is my take on it. <laughs> I'm going to let you do this whole one by yourself, because you've got about 50 more to do after this one. I know, I know. I gotta get a, I've got it. My, my honey harvesting muscles have atrophied, I must say. All right, let me grab my handy-dandy honey harvesting tool. Is that okay? I mean, just like that's okay to break. Uh, yeah, you don't want to do tapping anymore. Okay, you have to, okay, I got you for the. I got you to egg. You, you don't want to aggravate right the guys. Yes. All right, I hear you. All right, boys and girls, girls and girls, girls and a handful of loser guys. Very cool. Just so, start from here and go work yep. over that way. Okay. Actually, if you start on this side and work your way back, your tool will you'll work backwards on the tool. Oh, okay. There you go. Or that way, so flip the tool around. Makes sense. I generally do things backwards. Yeah. So that's our nice. Yeah, now you can, once again, I mean, you can tell right off the bat just with the weight of it. If I only had a handy brush for a bees, hello, ladies. Can I ask y'all to kindly go elsewhere? All right. Yeah, no, these are totally just laden with honey. If you shake the bees over the hive, it'll keep them from getting quite as irritated. I know we're getting a little past your, your height limit there, but. Yeah, welcome to my world. So now, what, so what were you suggesting there when I do this, kind of do it over the hive? Yeah, because you'll knock the bees back down in. Okay, and that'll uh, be, le they'll be less here, pissed about it. Yeah, they're, they're having to fly back into the hive. I gotcha. So like I said, we're, we're a little high on this box here. Yeah, so. like I said, easy for you to say. All right, ladies, let's again go back down in there. There you go. I'll bring my son's step stool out here for you. If that Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. I'm, that's why I hire uh, tall people at the restaurant to get things off the top shelves. How do you use honey in your restaurant? Do you, you know, cook with it on anything? Desserts? Oh, absolutely. One of my, my, you know, we do use local honey. I've got a trade out that I use with an apiarist that is uh, my chef's friend. And so, yeah, we use it for all kinds of things. Uh, a lot of dessert stuff. Um, I use tons of it for a honey dill carrot which is one of the vegetables we run at the restaurant. I'll just blanch the carrots, get them partially done. And then when we go to service, we put the honey, I mean, uh, some butter, onions, and honey in a skillet, a little bit of dill weed, and then just uh, heat them up that way. And it's delicious. 
Are you excited about uh, you know using honey and more dishes coming up now that you know the process? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. We've had good relationships with local beekeepers for quite a few years now. Uh, but to go ahead and have something like this only kind of reinforces uh, uh, why I like to do that uh, and how important it is for uh, me to take advantage of that stuff. We're getting a, getting a little noise. That one, what do you think, boss? We can probably take it. So again, later in the season, they don't tend to cap as much. Yeah, sure. Um, so that's borderline, but okay. we can we can pull one or two while we're pulling. What do you, I mean, once again, this one looks, I mean, you can see the honey on this side. Is it starting to be capped on the other they're, side? They're working on it. So there's an old wives tail for checking it and I can show you after you brush the bees off All of right. it. Baby. Oh, I'm sorry, here you go. So basically the, the old timers theory was you, you just take the honey and uh -huh. you give it a, a shake. Uh -huh. If nothing came out, then the moisture content was low enough that it, it should be fine. Okay, I got you. So that's not 100% accurate, but. All right, now we're just. Yep, so we're gonna very find. carefully pull that up because you don't want to roll the queen. All right. All right, so we got lots of brood right there. Whoa. All right, so this is capped brood. So okay. again, the queen lays the eggs. So there's a pretty good chance she's not gonna be on this frame. So let's okay. give it a flip just to see, we're gonna okay. leave it out. Okay, so I don't see the queen anywhere. Oh, you so wanna leave just, it out? Yeah, okay. right. we need one frame to work with. Okay. So watch watch the brick, we don't wanna break the cells there. I got you, I got so you. just stand right. it up on its end. All right, then I usually look down in here. So they're both open, so we can go either way. We got a 50-50 shot of being right here. All right, I'll take 50-50. So we're looking for young eggs, young larvae, and then from there, um, hopefully we'll find the queen on that frame. All right, we're just gonna close them back up. They're getting- They're getting a little agitated. Yeah, we're, we are at our time limit. All right. Which is okay, we've seen what we need to see for the, for the bees. All right. All right, that was the easy part. Going straight to the water. Nice to go in reverse order. So put, the, put the top down. All right, shoe bees, shoe. All right, looks like they're relatively bee free. Oh my gosh. See, I should have gone after him, then I could have done one. I can get it. Two. Get it. Yeah. So we bring our supers in from the bee yard. So we get them right here uh, next to our decapping tank. All right. Um, so the cappings on the honey is the cap. So obviously that's the part we're taking off. Okay. Um, so we run ours to a strainer. So this is our decapping tank. So we're gonna put one strainer there. So as we cut the capping, some honey's gonna come out. So it'll run through. And then our second strainer is gonna go under the centrifuge. Okay. So the honey will come out and go into the bucket from there. All right. So, so basically we're just gonna check and make sure it's decapped. So this one here doesn't really have anything. So we're gonna go straight to the extractor. Okay. So it goes in here. So if you put it here, it falls into the middle. So we want to just catch it on that back little peg right okay. there. Right. And basically we're just going to roll through all of them. So okay. we'll this one will one. have to be decapped. Oh, that one actually doesn't. Okay. So, okay, so this sure. one has a little spot here. So let me show you how to do that and then you can take off with it. All right. um, so we have a cold knife, which is what that is. Okay. And we have what's called a capping fork. Okay. So you're not trying to stab in. We're just trying to remove the cap. That's okay. all we're trying to do. And the backside sink? Yeah, just any, anything, any honey that is capped, we want to take that cap off. Okay. So we are going to, uh, once they are decapped, we're going to take them back out and put them back in the bee yard. So we don't want to damage any of the cells more than we have to, because okay. the bees will clean all that up and completely reuse everything just exactly how it is. Second. So this one that's completely capped, we use a cold knife. It's my personal favorite way of doing it. Okay. So you want to hold it slightly forward. Okay, go ahead. And then take the knife mm -hmm. and it's going to be like cutting bread. So All you right. don't want short choppy motions. Just get, get you a nice push. Uh -huh. You're not trying to cut into the wood. You're just trying to remove. So if you'll notice, I got a slight angle to my knife. Uh -huh. So we're going to get as much off 
as we can. So there's a nail there to grab the wood. Okay, all right. So again, just a slight angle. I'll be highly impressed if you get this on the first shot. All right. And then take your cold knife, your fork, just anything the knife wouldn't reach. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so that's what our end goal. So sometimes there's a little bit and okay. just take the knife kind of, or the fork, right. slight angle. Okay, so now another trick. So when we go from here, uh -huh. that, there's a lot of honey dripping, so stay over the tank. Okay. Then give it a flip and then get over here as fast as you can. Okay. All right, All right so you can go ahead and do you. We got two more to go to fill up our spot here. Yep, angle in a little bit more. There you go, long strokes. Not bad. I'll take not bad. Can I can I come over yeah. this that way? And then you, if you lean forward, have your have your frame like that. When you cut it, it falls in okay. a little better and doesn't just keep. Otherwise, it just hits and kind of keeps you. rolling down. Then you're fighting with it the whole time you're trying Here to cut. You. All right. So let me do that. Then I'll flip him around. Same approach here. Long strokes. And come back at it with the fork. And come outside and in. So nine frames to a box. So on a big day, we'd have 40 or 50 boxes to pull. Wow. So. You you hone up your uh, hone up on your knife skills pretty quick on a day yeah. like that. What do you? I just need to work a little bit on that. Uh, yeah, we're we're fine for Is that okay? today's purposes. All right, I'm gonna go down here, trying to keep it as intact as possible, and go here. Voila! One more. One more. May I? Yep. So when we decided to get into beekeeping supplies, our goal was to uh, be heavy on education, or at least as heavy as we could be. Um, so we, we've ended up, we do two events a year. Uh, we have bee day uh -huh. in the spring, uh, which is the pickup day for the bees that we sell. And then we have the Arkansas Honey Festival in the fall. Um, so bee day is a basically a straight how-to on keeping bees for brand new beekeepers. So if you're coming out, we'll actually take you out to the bee yard, show you how to, how to install bees, um, all the different things. Um, and then the honey festival is geared toward, more towards honey. Um, so we have a lot more families that come out, lots of families activities at both events. All right, so. And obviously this is just a centrifuge that we're that's it. slinging the honey out. So it's gotta be balanced. If it's not, this thing will uh, buck like a bronco and try to take off on you. So we, we started out kind of low. Uh -huh. And then we'll get a little, a little faster. We'll just go until it starts to vibrate on us, just a hair. So if you look in there, yeah. don't stick your hand in there. Okay. But you can actually see the honey hitting the outer wall. Uh -huh. So basically, as long as we have honey hitting the wall, then we let it, let it keep spinning. So we'll get it, we'll get it cranked up pretty good. As more of the honey comes out, the better we'll go. To get stung uh, and to sweat a little bit, which I sweated just fine, but I did not get stung. Um, it was incredibly educational. Uh, you know, uh, the more knowledge I can have about food uh, being in my business, obviously, uh, uh, I enjoy that a lot. So uh, it was incredibly educational and fun. Uh, he did good. He got right in there, dove right in. So messed up the comb a little bit, but that's that's to be expected. Uh, but he really didn't do too bad. So I wasn't afraid of the bees. Got in there, grabbed the boxes, moved them around. So. I give him a solid nine out of ten. There's always room for improvement, but so can I get away with this now? Try this stuff. <laughs> nice, Jeremy. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, this is, thanks uh, for your help. Well, you know, I've, I've always been intrigued by this kind of stuff, and so to get the opportunity to go and see it firsthand, uh, literally firsthand, uh, was super duper educational and a lot of fun. So thanks for having me. Oh yeah, you did great. So you're welcome back anytime. So we've got two events a year. We'd, right. love, we'd love to have you out and get you involved in those.